What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to extract the dominant colors from images using Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to extract the most dominant colors from images using Python. And this is something that I'm actually currently doing in a real project that I'm working on. I'm taking images and extracting the colors to create new features because sometimes you have images like, for example, this one here of a shirt with some colors here. And you want to get certain information about that shirt. For example, you want to have the, the sleeve length or you want to have the, the shape, the size, whatever. Or you want to have the two most dominant colors, for example. So gray, dark gray and something that's kind of blue or anything like that, something like that. Um, but you don't want to take the whole picture, the whole pixels and feed them into a convolutional neural network. You want to have just certain features. And what you can do in such a case is you can extract the two most dominant colors, then you're going to get an RGB code, for example, and you can define certain ranges, you can say, okay, this is blue, this is light blue, this is green, this is uh, lime, whatever, and then you classify the colors and you have certain numerical labels for the individual categories. And this is data that can then be uh, fed easily into a machine learning model. And this is what I'm doing in the project. And this is why I'm making this video, because I think it's kind of interesting to see how you can extract new features from images without having to feed the full image into a neural network, for example. So this is what we're going to do today. And for that, we're going to need a library called color thief. And this is installed using the command line. So pip install color thief like that. And if you don't have it installed already, you're also going to need matplotlib, not necessarily for the extraction, but for the plotting of the actual colors, if you want to see if you want to display the colors, the results. And we're going to say here from color thief, import color thief and from or actually not from import matplotlib dot pyplot splt. So what we can do now is we can create a color thief object, we can say ct equals color thief of test image dot jpeg. And we can say, print ct get color quality equals one, and this will give us the one most dominant color. In this case, this is the RGB code 37 for red 41 for green and 42 for blue. Now we can also store that we can say this is the dominant color and this is equal to that and then we can say plt im show important we need to pass a list of lists um and here we need to pass the tuple dominant color plt show otherwise we're going to get some bizarre uh visualization but this here is now just a color uh you can see it's a dark gray and this is basically how we get the one most dominant color now i'm not sure if for that here, this should be red, I think a dark red. So let's see what happens if I say test image five, you can use by the way, whatever images you want, as you can see here, this is a dark red, uh, the background is usually not considered. So I, I don't know if white is considered at all. But um, you can see that it, it, it extracts the most dominant color. Now, this is if you just want to have the one most dominant color, oftentimes, like in that image, for example, it makes sense to have two or three colors. Because if I tell you as a customer, the main color of this shirt is black or dark gray, you're going to be misled because as a consumer, you would probably say it's also blue because blue is a very uh, obvious color in this shirt. So we want to have two or three um, dominant colors and not just one. How can we do that? Uh, quite easily, we can say here that the uh, palette is equal to CT get pellet. I hope this is how it's pronounced. Pellet, paletti. No, probably not paletti. Pellet, I think. Um, and then color count equals, and we can say, for example, give me the five most dominant colors. And then what I can do here is I can say uh, PLT im show. And here again, a list of lists. And here we say pellet or pellet. And then I for I in range five. And then, of course, we need to also do a PLT show, otherwise, we're not going to see anything. And then we're going to get the five most dominant, most common colors. In this case, this is now the red shirt. So we have a lot of red. And if I change this to the first one, we're going to see that it's going to have the dark gray from before. 
and it's also going to have all the blue tones in a lighter gray as well. So that's the most basic way. This is actually it. So if, if that's what you wanted, of course, now it's a little bit more complicated to categorize because you get RGB values. And if one number is different, then it's a different color. So you need to think about how to categorize those. But this is already how you extract a dominant color. So you can stop watching here if you want to. But I want to show you one more thing here. I want to show you just in case you need it, how you can take those RGB values and convert them to hex values to uh, H, what was it? HSV and HLS. I think it was hue saturation value and hue lightness saturation or something like that. Um, and in order to do that, you need to import a library called color sys. Now we can import it down here. This is part of the core Python stack, by the way. Um, or you can import it uh, up here in top. And we can now say, for example, for color in palette, uh, we can say here that we want to print the value. First of all, the color itself, this is the RGB value. Then we want to print it in hex. And for hex, we're going to use string formatting, we're going to say that this is hashtag because it's hex, and then uh, color zero which is the R value, and we're going to format this as 0 to X, which will make it a, a hexadecimal number. Then we're going to do the same thing with color 1, 0 to X, and color 2, 0 to X, like that. And um, in order to convert to the different um, display methods, so HSV uh, and HLS, what we do is we say color sys dot RGB to HSV and then basically just unpacking color because that unpacks the tuple into the parameters that we need here. We need RGB and the same can be done with HLS. And if I run this now after we see the colors here, you can see that this is the gray color. Here we have the hex code and here we have the HSV and the HLS codes. So no matter what you're using for your colors um, in, in your system, in your database, whatever you have in your data frame, uh, you can use that um, notation as well here. And you can then categorize by distance by whatever. Uh, I'm going to make another tutorial soon on how to name colors. So how to take the color, find the closest color and assign a name to it. This can be quite useful as well. Uh, but that's it for today for how to extract the most dominant colors from images using Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and 